Raquel here. Welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. Today I'm filming what's in my clutch bag. So basically a going out bag and you may or may not know what a clutch bag is but I'll be showing you in this video so by the end of it you will know exactly what it is. So some of you may remember in a previous video I mentioned that I was going to uni soon and obviously I still am but basically I wanted to film this video because I will be going out on nights out and things like that more so than I do here because where I live it's very small. While I'm away I just want to make sure I had a really nice going out bag and I'm pretty sure that I succeeded in finding one. And next week I'm going to be making a video on moving to uni and what's going on just so you guys know because I haven't really updated recently. I talked about it maybe a few weeks or a couple of months ago. If you're new here to my channel I'd really love it if you could support me by subscribing. The button is just down below and it's free and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and you want to see more content from me. So this is my clutch bag. I got it from Tesco's. Yes I know Tesco's. I'm not usually a fan of Tesco like clothing or bags just because like I don't know why. I suppose it's like stereotypical. You just kind of associate like supermarkets with kind of cheaper things but I was really impressed with this. When I went in there I was kind of looking for a clutch bag but then at the same time I was not really expecting to find anything but I saw this and it was absolutely perfect exactly what I wanted. It is silver and sparkly and it also has this chain which is really important because I like to hang things off my shoulder as opposed to just carrying them like this. It's a lot more like secure I think if you can like have it over your shoulder so when you're dancing it doesn't just like fly across the room and like smack someone in the face. It has this envelope design which I think is really chic and very modern and from the side you can see how thick the bag is so nearly about two inches I would say which means you can fit quite a few things in there. So when I open it up it opens basically with this button which is magnetic and that actually isn't the most secure way to have like a bag just because it means that somebody could open it maybe without you like realizing. I would prefer if it was like a zip because you can usually feel if someone's like tugging on a zip. Now inside this is basically how much stuff you can fit inside it. So like I said a couple of inches and it's not a lot but it's definitely going to be your essentials which I'm showing you mine today. There is also, I don't know if you can see that, but at the back there's like a zip pocket so you could probably put something more valuable in there. Maybe like your phone or your money or if you take a bank card then it could definitely go in there because it means if someone was going in your bag and they tried to open it, you're more likely to feel it than if you just had it on top. And trust me, I'm very paranoid about those kind of things. So I'm going to start with my purse first and it is from Osprey London. Um, the design's kind of rubbing off now which is a shame but this is basically a designer purse. It is blue and brown and it opens with a zip. It is proper leather though, so it is really good quality. And inside the compartments just look like this. There's loads of bits you can put your cards, but I don't tend to use them that much just because I'm lazy. Um, a middle compartment for other things and yeah, basically a place to put your money. So I think I would take about 40 pounds on a night out. Now I obviously would not spend this much, probably around about 20 pounds, but it's just good to have this amount in case like you need another ride home or you get stranded or you know you just want to buy another drink to be honest. I have two cards so I have my provisional driving license which is pretty important if you want to buy like drinks or things like that or get into certain places because they want to see ID and this is an acceptable form of ID and I also have my young Scott card I'm being very conscious of covering the photo because I really don't like it but basically you can get loads of discounts in stores like places like food places or places like New Look things like that and it's really worthwhile having one especially as like a student because you're not gonna have as much money as everyone else. Next up is my phone well this is my phone but it's my older phone and I think I'd be more likely to take my older phone on a night out just because it is older I wouldn't necessarily want to lose like my newer phone and it's just as good but it's not quite as valuable to me. We just need to put a sim card in this but I think it's quite self-explanatory. You take a phone because if you get into a situation or you just need to ride home or you need to contact your friends, you can use your phone and it's really important. Powder is definitely essential for me. Um, I hate when I get like really oily skin, especially like if I'm going out somewhere, like, particular, like particularly at night, just around the T-zone and maybe down on the chin gets a bit shiny when you're a bit sweaty or just when your makeup rubs off. So it's really important to me to have a powder. Mine's Rimmel Stay Matte and it's in the shade 002 Pink Blossom. Equally as important is my Collection Extreme 24 Hour Black Eyeliner. I would take this just to touch off on my eyeliner because I know especially in the corner of my eyes, oh I hate this, the makeup can rub off which is really annoying because like you have eyeliner and then just like nothing and it just looks a bit weird so this is really good just for touching up on it. Nobody likes really chapped dried lips so I definitely like my Maybelline baby lips. This is in the flavour watermelon, no I got that wrong, melon mania. 
same thing basically, uh, it just looks like that. It gives a nice sort of pink sheen to your lips but it's not overpowering and it smells so good and it's very hydrating for your lips. And they're so cheap as well, I definitely recommend one of these. I maybe would take a lipstick as well if I was doing like lipstick on the night out but I'm not particularly a lipstick person so I don't necessarily think I would have a lipstick with me. Last but not least I have a bracelet. Now I can't remember what this bracelet is called but I remember there's kind of a period where everyone had these bracelets and of course I just had to hop in the bandwagon and buy one for myself. Um, I think on a night out like you might be wearing some jewellery and maybe someone will grab it by accident if you're dancing and it like snap off. Just anything could happen and if you've got a nice outfit you want to accessorise so a bracelet. This is not necessarily the bracelet I would maybe choose but it was the first one I could grab to do this video so let's be honest, YouTuber problems. I wanted to put deodorant in here but unfortunately it would not fit and I don't think you could get deodorant that would fit in here because they have like a smaller one and it still wouldn't fit inside. And I would also probably take one of those little mini perfumes. I would have shown one to you guys but I don't know where mine is at the moment. I really gotta find it because it smells so good. It's like one of the Gucci ones and I have like a bigger perfume of it and it's just so good. So that was it for this video guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed seeing me back here on the screen. I know I don't post as often as I used to but I'm trying to like get better at that now. Life has just been hectic, like work, thinking about uni, lying in my bed, you know, all those kind of things. And when I end this video, I'm going to be buying some books, or rather my dad's going to be buying some books. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see. Um, uni videos, I'll be doing them soon, but if you want to request like specific ones, like day in my life, or like a vlog, or breakfast for like uni, or stuff like that. Oh, it's been so long since I felt I was at school. I remember when I quit in like March. Yeah, I don't know, like, it's going to be weird kind of going back to school environment, like, I'm not gonna lie, like, it's not particularly my favourite being in, like, a room with lots of the people. I'm not claustrophobic, but, yeah, just problems. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!